I'm Pastor Jackson from True Life Baptist Church in Edmonton. Bible-believing Christians are constantly accused of judging people. This accusation is based on a misinterpretation of Matthew chapter 7 and verse 1, which says, Judge not that ye be not judged. Now, what did Jesus mean when he said that, judge not that ye be not judged? The obvious point of the passage is that we are not to judge hypocritically, but rather we are to judge honestly. If we go on from verse 2 and read down to verse 5 in Matthew chapter 7, we see that it says this, For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye? Or considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thy eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Jesus is not saying ignore someone else's issues, ignore someone else's sin, just pass over it, just pass by it and ignore it. What Jesus is saying is this, make sure that you honestly inspect yourself before you turn around to inspect someone else. Be honest, don't be hypocritical. That is the whole point of Matthew chapter 7 and verse 1, where Jesus said, Judge not, that ye be not judged. But we see the plain teaching of Jesus, that it is obvious that Jesus used judgment on many occasions. In Matthew chapter 23 and verse number 13, Jesus said, But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Jesus is judging. He is passing judgment on these scribes and these Pharisees. He calls them hypocrites. He says, woe or judgment is coming on them. Jesus used judgment. He also named judgment as one of the weightier matters of the law. In Matthew 23 and verse 23, Jesus said, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Jesus is saying that judgment, being able to discern right from wrong, truth from error, being able to say this action is wrong, no matter who it is that is accomplishing that action, saying that these motivations are wrong, no matter whose motivations they happen to be, that is a weightier matter of the law. That is an important thing that he said the Pharisees and the scribes should have been doing, and certainly it's something that a New Testament Christian ought to be indulging in. In fact, Jesus commanded his disciples to exercise judgment. In John 7, 24, we read this, Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So Jesus did not tell us, don't judge. He said, do it honestly and not hypocritically, and do it righteously. Do the right thing. So when we see the pattern of Jesus, we find that there is judgment there. Not only that he exercised judgment, but that he commanded us as his disciples to exercise judgment. We can also look at the pattern of the New Testament writers. Here we learn that the Apostle Paul told Christians that they should judge. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 15, he says, But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Paul says the Christian judges all things. 
He's supposed to do that. He also provided his own judgment on certain matters on more than one occasion. For example, in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 3, Paul said, For verily, as absent in body but present in spirit, have judged already as though I were present concerning him that hath so done this deed. He said, I've already judged. I'm not there. I'm not seeing the evidence, but I have heard enough to pass judgment in this case. When you go over to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verses 17 and 18, you find this. And their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenius and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the faith of some. You see, Paul had passed judgment on Hymenius and Philetus. He said they've erred. They have overthrown the faith of some. He had already passed judgment. Was the apostle Paul wrong in doing that? No, he was not. He was following the pattern of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he was following the direction of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we go over to the book of Jude, we find that Jude also passed judgment on others. In the book of Jude, verse 4, he says, For there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. As we study the context of the book of Jude, we find that he is talking about people who were involved in New Testament churches. They were members of these churches. They were participating in the Lord's Supper with the other members. They were claiming to be born-again Christians. Jude is quite harsh in what he says about these men. Was Jude wrong in passing judgment on these men? Absolutely not. He was following the pattern of Jesus, and he was following the direction of Jesus in passing judgment in that instance. So yes, Christians are supposed to judge between right and wrong, between truth and error. If we follow the example and the commandment of Jesus, we have no alternative but to judge all things. We do, however, need to take great care that we judge things rightly according to the Word of God, that we judge things honestly, and that we judge them humbly, that we not be hypocritical in that judgment when we are guilty of the very same thing ourselves. I hope that this truth is a help to you. If it is, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so that you can know about future videos. Also, if this video has been a help to you, please consider sharing it with your friends that they too can find help from these videos. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.